Hello, welcome to Matrix of Tech. We are the robust automation testers. This video demonstrates the ready-to-work framework with Android mobile testing. The ready-to-work framework is well designed, readily available to work on the test case development of an application from day one. It is well configured to customize as per the project, hence minimizes the time and effort to implement. Here we have the structure flow of the ready-to-work framework with Android mobile testing which includes continuous integration, version control, grouping, utilities, parameterization, input data, reporting and finally email. Well, the major factor in the framework involves grouping. Grouping is based on either module-based, page-wise or any other grouping type. We have employed page object design pattern which is utilized to create classes for each page in the application. We have built our own utilities that are required to support the Android mobile testing framework. The utilities are the functions that perform generic actions across the automation execution. This includes various generics, constants, readers and classes for implementing user-defined exceptions. We ensure that the functions we use are parameterized, thereby making it reusable and robust. The test scripts are connected to the external data source and told to read and populate the necessary data when needed. The test data are read from an external data source that is the Excel spreadsheet. There are other external data sources as well like the CSV files, SQL tables, or ODBC repositories. So next, let's have a look into the test case execution. Firstly, launch the simulator using Android Studio. In order to do so, view the Android Virtual Device Manager and click on Run. Simulator shall be launched. Next, move on to the APM and start the server and navigate to the Eclipse IDE. Next, select the test case to be executed and click on Run. The test case execution begins. The test case involves the creation of a new order. The order's application is launched and the required details are entered in order to create a new order. Well, the test case execution has been completed successfully and the trace of the execution is depicted in the console output. Finally, moving on to the reporting. This is the extent report that overviews the test execution summary. Well, we also develop our own customized reports in XML and HTML format which provides an overview of the test execution along with a screenshot captured for the failed test cases. And these reports can be sent to the respective recipient via email as well. We have developed the above framework to support continuous integration through Jenkins as well where a command line is passed to the Jenkins and the Jenkins undergoes the test case execution. Well, this is all about the ready-to-work framework with Android mobile testing. For more details, visit our website at www.matrixsoft.com. Thank you.